Penalization can put multiple identical PCBs together and mount more at a time. However, most penalizations is limited to rectangular panel combinations. When faced with irregular shaped PCBs, we may choose the same side mirror ball joint method. Let's image such a P-shaped PCB. If we still arrange it horizontally and pull it together, there will be a large blank area. At this time, we change the direction and make the two balls present a PD-shaped combination, which means less black area. Of course, less waste and more friendly to environment. If you happen to have only miniaturized components on both sides of your PCB, you can try another more interesting approach, which is different side mirror board. In this splicing way, the B side and T side with the PCB will be cross-joined. The advantage of this is that one production line can be used to complete the placement of all components without having to consider switching to another production line. I just have one hand now, and we can see that it is actually very small. With only a few lightweight components, if there are heavier components that need to be mounted, it becomes unsuitable. The two mirror balls introduced above are also called Inyang balls in the processing factory of East Asia culture. Look at this Tai Chi picture. Does it vividly express the front and back splicing of two PCBs?